Hi, I revisited the butter pig and I got some great news. If you didn't see my last episode, I printed this for Filament Friday. It was a suggestion. It's actually a butter press. This is only part of it, but this is the, the screw in part. And when XYZWare sliced this, it put a, a block right through the center and just really messed it up. So there was really an argument about what's wrong with this. Is it is it the file? Is it XYZWare? Is it Da Vinci printing? You know, and there's all kinds of other comments out there about I need to switch to Repetier Host and print on a MakerBot and everything else. But I dug into it a little deeper, and uh, it turns out there's actually something in the file that XYZWare just doesn't like. If I put it this way in XYZWare, it slices fine. Uh, this way, it slices fine. But if I lay it sideways, that's when there's a problem. And I also ran it through a, a repair facility net, at netfab.com, and I'll put a link in the description below. And that was kind of a suggestion from XYZ. So I tried it, and I've done this before. I didn't think I'd need it on this one, but it worked. I ran it through that. It's just a, you up, upload the STL file, it repairs it, and you download it, and it gives you a .g code file. And XYZ will, like, will accept .g code files. Um, so I loaded it back in and it sliced fine. In the meantime, bef before I did all that, I actually heard from uh, one of my subscribers commented I should take my own advice and split the thing in half. And I like to, on Filament Friday, you know, just print the file. If people give me a suggestion, let's just print it and see what happens. And this is what happens. But he was right. I should have split it in half. So that's what I did. And I loaded it into Tinkercad and split it in half. And then I printed it. So let me show you. So I used the import feature in Tinkercad and I brought in the original STL file. And then I use the edit duplicate feature to make a copy. And then I rotated one of them 180 degrees with just the angle tool. So that way it was completely flipped when I split these. And then I put a block through both of them, right through the half, and made the blocks into a hole. And that way it basically was slicing these in half. And then I grouped everything together to make two halves flat on the bed. And that gave me my final design that I was ready to uh, check out here. You can see the gaps. Everything looks good. I got the two halves. And then I could just design, download for 3D printing as an STL file, and s import that into my XYZWare. And here it is. It looks the same on the XYZWare platform. So then I sent it to my DaVinci printer. Okay, so that's how I split it, and I sent it to the printer, and now it's done. And I've actually taken it off once just to look at it. So these are just going to slide right off here, but I'll put them on, on the bed here. But because I split them in half, I didn't have to print with supports. Because these guys support themselves, and look at it, it just lifts right off. And inside, because this is curved at a gradual angle, it printed very very nicely so there's no sagging there's it's it's a very nice print so both these halves just you know they just lifted right off so I can now acetone those together and I'll have a solid piece now I have to do that around once I put these together so these go together and I get my nice threaded shaft and I just acetone these together and acetone, it just it works really well. It's as good as you know the layer sticking together because you're fusing the plastic. The only thing that was uh, it's still bothersome on this, and I haven't done it yet because I was saving it for this video, is while I was printing, I could see that the gap was was printing here for this pivot on the end. But after I pulled them off the the heated bed because I mushed these down to make them stick, 
it all kind of fused together on the bottom so it's all completely smooth so I'm gonna to have to kind of guess where that that is I gotta cut this first layer off and see if I can loosen it enough loosen it enough to get this to uh, pivot and eh, it's a borderline okay so I got a knife and let's see if I can figure out where this thing goes and it worked popped right out I got a little bit of extra plastic here that I need to cut out but that thing popped right out of there see if I can get the other one off try to do the same thing and now I got this to mark it so I'll just trace around this comes. It's a little bit too much fused on it. And I got it. So I'll have to do a little bit of repair so it's not the best. But I, if I designed this, I would design that with more gap because you want this thing to pivot. But there I've got that. I'll flatten these guys out. Put those together. So I'll smooth all this out. Acetone it together. Get these acetone together. And it says butter pig on there, although it's barely readable. And then I'll get these in there and fuse it all together. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so I sped that up so you didn't have to sit through all that. I'll get to the good stuff now. But for those that don't know, I'm using 100% acetone, which is really just nail polish remover. I got this at the local CVS pharmacy. You want to make sure it's 100% acetone and clear and then it's cheap and that works great to fuse these things together. So I fused this together and it's got a little bit of a gap here because I split too much of the plastic out when I was carving but this thing's pretty solid now and I actually once I, I put it on the edges squeezed it together and then I spread acetone on top of the, the edges going across like this to blend all the plastic because the acetone just melts the plastic so you can kind of push it where you want and then it hardens so it makes it stronger. So this is, there's probably a little bit of cleanup I got to do on this with, and that was the drop test. So I got some sandpaper back here. So I can sand this a little bit smoother, get rid of the rough edges. Hopefully make it spin a little easier. So that shouldn't take much. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I take just a cap full, I poured some, I'll put a fresh stuff in here. I just pour the acetone in the cap. And then you want to get it on both sides. And you got to be ready because when you put these together, it's not moving. So I want to spread it really, really thick. Just just blob it all over it. Because so that will loosen up the, the, the plastic surface. Make it all sticky. And then what I got to do... Let's put this in here. I'm going to turn it and then put this one on top and get it lined up. And it's, it's sticking to itself pretty good. And I want to turn this so this doesn't See, it's turning. So I got that part working. And then now what I'll do is right on the seam, I'll come back with Q-tip and I'll just run this in the seams. More acetone in the seams and that'll help 
That'll help seal this guy from splitting a little bit. It's not perfect, but it'll help. And you can actually go back and forth like this, because that'll kind of blend the plastic together. I'll mold it together. Kind of let that let that dry. I want to keep spinning this so the acetone doesn't stick. So this is still a little mushy. But you can see we already got a crank going here. It's looking a lot better. A lot better than that piece of crap. So now I'm going to try and put these two together around the gears, around the shaft. So I'll put this on thick. And then this half, trying to rush. Okay, now I'll put these together. They fit pretty loose because they got the extra gap. So I'll squeeze those together and then acetone the, the joint. And then the screw works. And this still is it still spinning? Yeah, so that's acetone wants to grab that guy, so I've got to Keep that spinning. This one's a little bit looser. So I'll just keep spinning this till it dries. Just occasionally spin it. And splitting the two worked. So there you have it. A successful butter pig print. It's all pretty solid now that it's hardened. This thing's uh, pretty good shape. So now I need to print the rest of the box and finish the butter pig. But this sucked, this worked. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. I'll see you next time.